Welcome back. Western countries have privatised the capture and punishment of online predators. A job that was reserved for law enforcement and Chris Hansen has now been taken over by ex-drug addicts who want to be famous. I don't think it was intentional, this. The cabal had nothing to do with it, so put down your pitchforks and sit down, because daddy's going to drop some truth bombs. A lot of these adults just have all this built-up riz. They can't unload it anywhere. Naturally, they find themselves pretending to be 13-year-old girls Spending 12 hours a day seducing 40-year-old men in online chat rooms. I know, guys, you love these predator hunters. And it's your gut feeling telling you to. They're cleaning up the streets. But it's also that gut feeling that loses you your life savings every time GameStop shares make the news. So, why don't you simmer down and just let me speak? Alright, Hollywood is dying. There's 10 actors that they hire. All these younglings, these cuties, all right. There's 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 five males, there's five ladies, all right. I'm just gonna I'm gonna ring a few off, okay? Because I don't know all five of them, but Timothy Shamalee, Tom Holland, Barry Coogan, Jacob Alaridi, all right. There's four men. You want five women? Big Titty Sweeney, Zindia, and the girl that's eyes are too far apart. We, and we all know who I mean. <clears throat> Live streaming predator stings will be the next superstar producer. Mark my words. The only route for aspiring actors is going to be to cut their chops in the online chat rooms. Predator hunting will be... <laughs> predator hunting... <laughs> God, say it. Right, chill out, bro. Predator hunting will be one of the highest grossing sectors in the entertainment industry by 2030. Mark my words. Close your eyes, ladies and gentlemen, and picture the first couple to meet pretending to be children online. Oh my God, I can hear church bells ringing. The industry will make so much money. The need for child decoys will be so large, recruiting will take place outside of Disneyland. Why would they do that? I, don't kids go to Disneyland? No. Disney adults, ladies and gentlemen, they've already begun the arduous process of de-aging their brain so they can enjoy these pathetic cartoons. It will be like when the army set up shop outside of Top Gun screenings to recruit all the fat losers to go and die for the country. I'd love to talk to one of these decoys. It's an very interesting career path, trust me. And I think we really need to keep an eye on them. Because these are the real monsters, I believe. What's the approach to getting yourself into character? Oh, well, I've, I've fully submerged myself into the life of Becky, the 13-year-old slut. Jesus Christ! I socialize with children, I wear children's clothes, and I'm enrolled in online courses catered to pupils in year six. Wow! He's a method actor. Imagine you ask your kid how old their friend is who they're playing Fortnite with. And they say, 40. But he, he's doing character work, Dad. He's, he's pretending to be a 13-year-old girl. So he's immersed himself in our friend group. Listen, that's just the way it is. All right? Unfortunately, predators have got too advanced. You can't come with that introductionary level My Little Pony knowledge anymore. You call pixies hands cue when they're actually hoofs, your cover's blown. Why am I so worried? All right, let me just read a quote that I think is perfect to describe this, okay? Whoever fights monsters should see to it that in the process, he does not become a monster. It cannot be a positive thing for these people running this scheme. It might be fun. They might finally be popular. They might be able to buy a nice car and everyone on the street thinks they're a hero. But they're sat at a desk with six monitors running, 150 chats, thinking like a 12-year-old all day. 
it will change you. Johnny Depp. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, that movie. A lot of people said he got so far into his character work on Hunter S. Thompson that he actually started to take bits of his personality onto himself. And I can see it, right? You do anything enough, it becomes part of your thinking process. A recent example, Austin Butler, right? The hot guy. That's probably the fifth guy, by the way. I forgot about him. He's definitely the fifth guy. Recently, he played Elvis in that biopic, and his voice is now permanently retarded. I also question their intentions, to be honest. Um, If it was for the kids, it wouldn't be live-streamed, would it? And uh, I know they can say, oh, but we want everyone to know they're a pedophile. Well, it's the only people that really matter. It's the police, isn't it, really? It doesn't really matter if Julie on Facebook knows that some guy in Rotherham's fucking kids. Does it? Really? Also, right, think about this, right? If you're spending all your days in these online chat rooms, pray to God you don't bump into the world's most charismatic pedophile. You might end up falling in love with him. Ultimately, this job should be left to the actual pedophiles in the police force to handle. One day when you log off, you look in the mirror, you'll realize that there are actually more pedophiles now than when you started. The only thing you have to show for it is three successful convictions and a Facebook page full of retards. The police have professional counseling for people that do this job, seriously. All right? Do you think with the state of the National Health Service you're going to get to see a therapist in time. You will kill yourself long before anyone listens to you. Trust me. I I guarantee, and I will bring this back up when it happens, there will be articles about predator decoys who have killed themselves. I'll handle the law. All right? Not even Batman trifled with predators, guys. Let the children handle it. I think they're fairly capable of defending themselves, okay? That's not affirmative or disavowal. You keep fucking pointing that finger at me, child predator. It slapped him. And you're gonna get your shit ringed. Now, maybe isn't a good answer to try to pick up with little, pick up little boys, is it? Is maybe a good answer? I was destroying him. got a child predator trying to take off here. <laughs> child predator going down. Child predator, Kohi, <laughs> trying to pick up little kids. Oh, I missed. <laughs> This man's trying to pick I like how he's having a good time while he's doing this. And then this is my favorite part, just straight into the fucking uh, war veterans donation table. Perfect. A truly beautiful push. Bro, I don't give a fuck, right? And then he falls over because his lack of coordination skills can't have him look behind him and run at the same time. He'll be sore tomorrow. I, I'm, I'm sure he will. By the way, if you work in Walmart, how many times a day do you hear this guy's here to meet a 13-year-old girl? It must not even phase him anymore. It, 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 it's the only place they meet up with him. Why, why not try McDonald's? Why not try a park? Why not try a, why not try a school? That would be really incriminating. Walmart must... I've tried to do something about this because it's bad for business. Are they running ads on the Whisper app? If a 13-year-old wants to meet you in Walmart, go down the road and meet them in Target. That's what I'd do. Keep that shit out of our business, please. You're, you're freaking out the bitches. You could walk up to anyone at Walmart and say to them, you're here to meet a minor. And they'll probably think to themselves, Oh, shit. I thought that was next week. Probably about one online personality a week at the minute is getting zapped for freaky behavior with minors. All right? I don't want to say it out loud, ladies and gentlemen, who who I'm talking about, but (laughs) we're not going to have any entertainers left if some action isn't taken. Why are adults allowed to message people underage on all these platforms? 
we cannot have nice things. Let's just blanket ban. There's no conversations. There's no merging of ideas between minors and adults. All right. They've taken the two time from us. Who's next? Is David Attenborough going to get it? Be careful, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, the Asian pedophiles, always the funniest videos for some reason. Well, let's see this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, hey, you. Oh, shit. Oh, mm. shit. Straight up, man. Look at this. Oh, shit. We got one today, boys. FDP, more like LDP. Let's go. Bro's not doing bad, to be fair. He's got, he's got two men and half a man holding him down, and some guy shouting insults at him. So, very hard situation. Also, it's. I just love the action. I mean, look at this. Look at that. Bang. Swipes off. Guy's not got a good grip. The police officer. And then we get the crip involved. He sees this shit go down. And he's like, no, 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 no. Now, it, now it's time to be a fucking boy. Being a predator might be the dirtiest secret of them all. And also, but also probably one of the easiest to keep. Have you, have you noticed how they always pretend to be mentally handicapped? These predators, ladies and gentlemen. You're not fooling anyone, buddy. The sad truth is a lot of the catchers are mentally undeveloped males. And uh, I don't even know how you fix that or how you even tackle it in terms of punishment. What's the Game and Wildlife Conservation Trust's opinions? Are they safe to capture and eat? Uh, there's funny things that I've been thinking about this. Let's all just put on our hypothetical hat. <clears throat> There's got to be a predator that always flakes on the meetup. Oh, my freaking hand got hit by a grit bin again. I can't make it tonight. Can we reschedule? How many times do you reschedule with a predator until you just let him go into the wild? This is probably why it shouldn't be allowed, this next one. I think Ed Matthews is a hilarious guy. So it's also crazy it's a crazy clip ed matthew who goes to the wrong door again again <laughs> right one of the touchiest subjects that you could possibly handle and um you go to the wrong door twice uh, you're hiding, screaming are you? we know we have your face your name nick humphrey you're 37 and you've been chatting to my 14 year old sister mate What number do I use? Nah, his light was on. He knows he's guilty because he turned his light off. He was being too loud out here, bro. Bruv. <laughs> Another boring week for you at school, you said. You doing much today? Oh, early's, at home? Early's calling. <laughs> I love how it's hilarious to them as well. <laughs> oh, fuck, it's 27. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god, this is why unfortunately we cannot have this go on. To do it twice as well. Again, he gets the wrong door. And I've done this because part of my job is going to people's houses. The amount of times I've gone to the wrong house, it's uh, it's crazy. And you, it happens a lot more than you think. I've even gone to someone's house, right? It was the wrong house. I did my whole job, drove home an hour, got home and realized... I'd not been to the right house and I'd just talked my way into this house with like an, an, an old woman, a dog that knew I was not right because it fucking wanted to kill me the entire time I was there and just children running about. Very funny stuff. Very funny stuff there. And the last bit here is for the parents. And this is just a quick little word. If you are truly worried about predators, all right, and if, you're, and if your kid is getting groomed in chat rooms, you should be happy that they can read and type because you have failed as a parent. 